When your R216 is first delivered to your farm, you'll want to do an initial inspection to make sure everything is in good working order. Within the first five hours of operation, check for loose hardware. At five hours, check the conditioner drive belt tension. There is a decal located under the left hand drive shield. The correct spring length is 17.5 millimeters. To adjust the length, tighten or loosen the bolt. After 25 hours of use, recheck the conditioner belt tension. Adjust the spring length if necessary. The correct spring length is 17.5 millimeters. After the initial 50 hours of operation, the conditioner roll timing gearbox and the header drive gearbox lubricants should be changed. Consult your operator's manual for oil specifications and the detailed instructions on changing the oil. When you are working underneath the header, make sure the engine is off, the key is removed from the ignition, and the safety stops are engaged. To change the conditioner roll timing gearbox lubricant, locate the gearbox under the right hand drive shield covers. Clean around the oil drain plug on the bottom of the gearbox, the oil level sight glass on the inboard side of the gearbox, and the breather fill plug near the top of the inboard side of the gearbox. Raise the header to provide sufficient access to the oil drain plug and place a one liter container under the gearbox. Remove the drain plug using a hex key. Allow sufficient time for the oil to drain. Reinstall the drain plug and tighten. Remove the breather and fill the gearbox with 0.7 liters of SAE 80W140 gear lubricant. Ensure the new oil is level with the top of the sight glass. Reinstall the breather. To change the header drive gearbox lubricant, locate the gearbox under the left hand drive shield cover. Clean around the drain plug on the bottom of the gearbox, the level plug, and the fill plug. All are located on the inboard side of the header drive gearbox. Place a 4 liter container under the drain and remove the drain plug. Allow sufficient time for the oil to drain. Reinstall the drain plug and tighten. Remove both the check plug and the fill plug using a 13 millimeter socket. Add SAE 80W140 lubricant through the fill hole until it is level with the check hole. 